Hi, I'm Ashikul Rahman. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll teach you how to extract capital in the trial balance. So let's get started. Okay, uh, look at this question here. Uh, this is a trial balance. Actually, this question is taken from IGCSC accounting past papers. Okay, so look here. Uh, these are the items given in the question paper. And then one more item is given here, last of all. So capital, but there is no value. It's a question mark. So to balance your trial balance, you need to extract your capital. Okay, so how to do it? So look at here, already I have drawn the format of the trial balance and I entered these items here. I'll put this amount now, okay? So see, first of all, uh, which is uh, motor vehicles. So look at this motor vehicles below, it is thirty uh, $38,000, okay? Already you know, motor vehicle is an asset, asset comes in the debit side, okay? So right here, motor vehicle $38,000, okay? Next one is a provision for depreciation for motor vehicles. So provision for depreciation is a liability for the business and all liability comes in the credit side. Okay. So write $10,000 in the credit side. Then we have sales, you know, it's a revenue, nominal account. What is the rule for nominal account? All expenses and, and losses to be debited, all incomes, gains will be credited okay so sales revenue it's a revenue so it will be credited so let us credit uh, this fellow which is $190,000 so right here $190,000 okay great what do you have next it is purchase so purchase is an expense nominal account expense comes in the debit side so right purchase in the debit side one hundred three thousand dollar okay next we have rent four thousand dollars rent is an expense it is also debit so right here four thousand dollars on debit column okay great next we have wages and salaries it's an expense for the business and expense comes again debit side $41,000 so right here $41,000 okay uh, then we have uh, uh, salary expenses it is already expenses written so it comes debit side $6,800 next we have drawings this is another type of expense so it is also debited okay so right here drawings how much twenty three thousand dollars okay great what do you have next it is trade payable okay trade payable is five thousand dollars okay so what is trade payable if you say it's a liability you are correct so liability is credited how much five thousand dollars on the credit column okay next we have trade receivable okay seven thousand dollars it's an asset it's a current asset actually actually so it will come in the debit column so right here seven thousand dollars okay great next we have bank overdraft what is bank overdraft it's a liability yeah liability comes credit side so one thousand five hundred dollars so right on the credit column one thousand five hundred okay next we have cash you know cash is a is a current asset and it will be debited yeah one hundred dollar so write cash in the debit column one hundred dollar so what about purchase return yeah it is six hundred dollar it will be credited okay so right here purchase return six hundred dollar on the credit column okay what do you have next we have next inventory yeah 
So what is inventory? It's a, 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 it's a current asset. Asset comes in the debit column. Okay. So right here inventory which is $12,000. Okay. So see last one. Capital. Capital is a question mark in the question. Okay. So many students are confused when they get this type of question in exam paper. So they know everything, all expenses, where to put in the debit column or credit column, asset, expenses, incomes, everything. But when they get question with the capital in the items of the question or in the list of the balances, then confused, think that it is very complicated, I cannot, I cannot balance it. But actually it is very easy, okay? So now what to do? So leave it, okay? You don't write capital here. Put a question mark, okay? Just calculate capital later. Okay, first of all, we have to see. We have to check our total debit amount and total credit amount, okay? So, what, what we have our debit amount. So, if you calculate your debit amount, you will get 234,900 dollars okay this is our credit amount so now we need to calculate our credit amount yeah so let us let us calculate if we calculate our credit amount it is two hundred seven thousand one hundred dollars okay so this is not same Bal trial balance must be balanced yeah should be same balance in both of these columns so here in the debit column we have two hundred thirty four thousand nine hundred dollars but here we we added we got two hundred seven thousand one hundred dollars. Okay, so now check how much your difference is. Uh, what is the difference between this debit column, this debit and credit column? So that difference will be your capital. Okay, it's very easy. Yeah, now so you check your uh, debit item was. $234,000, $34,900, okay, your credit amount is $207,100, subtract, okay, then check how much, then check how much comes, okay, so if you, if you calculate, your balance will be $27,800, okay, this $27,800 is your capital, okay? So it is easy when you understand how to calculate. So now we write this value here in the capital, okay? So it is 200, uh, $27,800, sorry, $800, okay? So if we add this now, it is same two hundred thirty four thousand nine hundred dollars okay so this is how you need to calculate your capital in the trial balance when it is not given in the question okay just practice see how did i do you would also try to do you practice several questions at home then you see that you will be also prepared for this type of question so I told you beginning of this lesson that this question is taken from IGCC accounting past paper. So maybe again you will get this type of question in your exam. So be prepared. Okay. So that's all for today. I hope you understood and you learned how to calculate your capital and trial balance. And please subscribe my channel for more new videos. Okay. And if you think that this video is helpful for you. Please share with your friends, okay? They also can learn, okay? So, bye-bye. See you. Take care.